Identifying sets of real numbers for real world situations. Lesson 1.2c. Now we have learned that the set of real numbers includes the subsets of rational and irrational numbers. Real numbers can be used to represent real world quantities. Highways have speed limit signs that are represented by natural numbers, counting numbers, not zero, such as 65 miles per hour. Integers appear on thermometers as whole numbers and their opposites cross zero, and as rational numbers as positive and negative numbers, including fractions and decimals that repeat or terminate. Rational numbers are used in many daily activities, including cooking. A measuring cup has marks for fractional amounts, such as one-fourth, one-half, and three-fourths. Here it's telling us to identify the set of numbers that best describes each situation. The number of blue cars in a parking lot, that's our situation. Well, the set of whole numbers best describes the situation. The number of blue cars may be zero or a counting number. Whole numbers include natural numbers and zero. Remember, natural numbers are the counting numbers and whole numbers are the natural numbers including zero. So let's see if we can find a set of numbers that describes this situation. The circumference of a jar lid that has a diameter of three, four, or five centimeters. Well, the set of irrational numbers best describes the situation. The circumference formula is C equals pi D. Circumference is equal to pi multiplied by the diameter, or we can use circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. Each circumference would be a product of pi and the diameter, or pi and 2 times the radius. Any multiple of pi is irrational. Okay, so what set of numbers describes this situation? the amount of water in a swimming pool as it evaporates. The set of real numbers best describes the situation. The amount can be any number greater than zero. There won't be a negative quantity of water. So, we can say real numbers. That best describes this situation. The number of minutes remaining when a movie is playing displayed as a negative number. That would be the set of real numbers. The set of real numbers best describes this situation. The number of minutes remaining can be any number less than zero depending on the display device. So it counts down until the end of the movie, or it could be to the end of a song or how many minutes until a podcast is about to start? In the set of real numbers, the subsets rational numbers and irrational numbers are included. For rational numbers, that includes integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers. For integers, that includes whole numbers and natural numbers, and whole numbers include natural numbers. So if you look at this diagram, We've got our natural numbers that are our counting numbers, one, two, three, and so on. We've got whole numbers, which are the natural numbers, including zero. So now we've got all of these numbers plus zero. Then we've got the integers. So we've got zero, one, two, three, and so on, but now we've got it going on the other side of zero into the negatives. For rational numbers, it includes all of these plus the negative and positive fractions and decimals. The irrational numbers cannot be written as a terminating decimal or a repeating decimal. And the rational numbers and irrational numbers are real numbers. These are all real numbers. Rational numbers, irrational numbers, and integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers are all subsets of real numbers. 
we're finished with lesson 1.2 and we're going to move on to 1.3 and the first part of the lesson is comparing irrational numbers. Take good notes and maybe make a drawing for yourself in your notes and you can use color so you can remember what subsets belong to what sets. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you join me for lesson 1.3. Bye.